Hello, this is Isaac with the Moral War family. Bring a recap for War 101's latest war against the True Empire. They were outweighed rather heavily, it was a bit of a mismatch, and we did our best. 94th 94, but lost in destruction. So, good job to the guys at 101 for giving it their all. You see, we had 4 10 or 11s, and up to 9, so we had 4 10 11s and 5 10 or 10s. Anything below Snigro, Snigro and below, is a 0.5. They had 7, no, 6 11s. And, yeah. 7 Tandal 10s, so we were pretty outweighed. Um, stats, we actually beat them on 3 stars, but we lost due to that 1 star that we left on the table against King. So, we would have won if we got the second star. Really unfortunate. Six packs. Ammo 2.0. So, Ammo is a member of Thieves. Uh, this is his mini account. Gun Guy and Blyant. And that's it. So, we're gonna start with Retin Tin Tin. Who was an ex member of Savage Sleuths, actually. Um, we wore them uh, in Thebes some time ago. Um, he got attacked without his warden. He's upgrading it. Yeah, he was upgrading at the time. So, Queen Walk Hocus Pocus. Very, very popular at Channel 11, actually. Another name is Royal Witchcraft. In our war against WHF, um, these were WHF that is. Uh, they use a lot of that. They triple to about tens fresh with this attack. So Retin does this without a warden, which is super impressive. Doing this warden list is like you know, you do have level three witches, but like nothing else. You're basically a town or ten with slightly amped up witches. So, it's very straightforward attack. Queen clears out one side, witches go through the core, and it's just left to them and the queen. You see, the most powerful part of this attack is, in typical Hocus Pocus dips, the witches in the core get flanked. The queen eliminates one flank and the healers usually live on so they usually help keep alive the troops in the core in this case absolute overkill so great job to retin next lol you are bad at fly uh, another of our 11s is that with his warden bringing the same attack this queen walk Hocus Pocus. Extremely impressive stuff. Did he choose the core? I'm going to trim the edges again and lead into the attack. So you're taking out the wizard tower, mortar, or the splash. Golem's going. Wizard and the Hogs, you see how he's purposely targeting the mortar? He must get rid of the splash. The breakthrough. Raiders up. Freezes up. Double freeze. Everything in the core here, you see, nothing to flank them. But now they're starting to get flanked, but the Queen splits off, takes a side. Witches and Warden get another side. Still no abilities, but Mortar is doing work. He's got no. Now, oh wow! Absolute overkill. And only now just uses the warden's ability. And now the queen's ability. Great job to lot you about a fly. Sick three star. Next 
Axe is Ragnar. Ragnar's a new member at War 101. Bringing Queen Walk Goho, I believe. If not, then it's Queen Walk with Mass Hogs. Starts his queen at 9. We're gonna go down and take the enemy queen. Got the rage for her. It's a pretty strange base. No real double giant bomb locations. Probably in the moat somewhere. He's got core Teslas. Wizards to make the fun on the other side. So the queen goes in. Golem, yep. So this golem, the king, the wizards, they're gonna walk the ring. Provide some tanking for the hogs. Hogs coming from 12. Hound in the CC, so that's good. So the Hound's gonna follow the Hogs, the Queen's gonna stay behind. Clear some more defences, Hogs again from 3. Another heal. And it's pretty straightforward from here. Another heal, keep him up. Poison. The King on the Skellies. And that's a 3. Great job to Ragnar. It's got Blind. Blind is a former Reaper who's got moved up to 101. Coming at it with CB La Luna, looks like. It lures the CC, double poison. He waits uh, for the first poison to almost finish before dropping the second. That's what you have to do. If not, the poisons don't stack. Golem comes down from 6. Jump, there's a new wall bangers, makes the funnel, rages up. Maybe this is a clean up, I don't see the CC. Is it a hound? No C oh no, he poisoned it. <laughs> Lolo starts uh, clockwise from three. There's hounds and loons. Rotational mana. Queen and the core doing some work. Got a mixture of rage and haste, which is, you know, what I prefer. Best of both. Got the hound left, alive. But now it just pops, it's just perfect. Clean up is easy. Excellent job to blind him. See, La Loon is still exceptionally strong, even against the meta bases you find in a range wars. And last, we got an attack by a Lion. Lions are the new member too. 101. It's got the counter reapers as well. Yeah, this is a strange looking base. He's coming at it with Govaho. Another extremely powerful strategy. Golems go down on the right. Minions and wizards to make the funnel. But the EQ there. He doesn't need to jump all bangers. He's gonna EQ straight in. Really big funnel. Royals, Valks come in. Dragloon CC now. Got more wizards. Rage is up. Oh. <laughs> Those golems. Those loons can do absolute beating on the golems. The wizards finally catch up and oh god, this is messy. Heals the Valks. 
hog start from six surgically and clockwise. It's obvious double giant bomb in between Expo and the S Sweeper. Bunny trips it one at a time. There's nothing there. Well, that's a surprise. I haven't watched any of these, by the way, so. Uh, reinforces. Queen is still up. I've got more hogs in the bag. Oh no, it seems this guy had a double giant bomb initially, which got taken out by the kill squad. This was a clean up. Great job to Lion. Finishing off this base. Hogs up. Queen up. No clean up whizzies. So, yeah. A bit of a sloppy attack, but a 3 nonetheless. Great job to Lion. Alright. Well, that's all. Um, good war, good try to War 101. Uh, for doing the best against this significant mismatch. I'll be making more recaps in the future for Thieves and 101, I'm a Thieves member, and Attack of the Weeks, and some other cool stuff as well, so stay tuned, thanks.